Okay, so here we are. This is our master tub, and it's so dark in here I'm having to use a light from my phone, so bear with the bad video quality here. Um, you can see that huge crack right here, and it's been here since we bought the house. It's a big, deep tub for um, a replacement of a whirlpool tub, and you can see all these cracks in here. I got the water in there just to kind of... <clears throat> Give some depth here but those are cracks that are forming in the tub basin and that one is actually penetrated all the way through and it, they used a silicone at one time and it finally broke through the silicone after several years and I tried using a marine epoxy to fix it but the problem is the tub is no longer level and so this portion is raised up and when you step on it it bends the acrylic and unfortunately this is an acrylic tub and not a fiberglass tub otherwise I'd have patched it with some fiberglass. So what we're going to do today is we're going to drill some holes, sand this down, drill some holes, and we're going to actually try and inject some silicone up underneath there and um, patch this crack. This is only going to be a temporary fix. We don't have the time uh, or frankly the funds at the moment to do a full tear out and replacement of the uh, tray because eventually we want to take the tub out and make it just a shower. But uh, right now we need something that's going to keep it from leaking because it is actually a full crack and water can uh, get up underneath there. Okay, so as you can see, that's a huge crack. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down with some. Uh, sandpaper because I have that epoxy on there just gonna rough up that surface I'm never gonna be able to get all that off this plastic so I'm gonna rough up that surface I'm gonna take a knife and open up that crack again completely I'm gonna drill uh, maybe some 5 30 seconds holes on either end of the crack to prevent it from continuing on and I'm actually gonna go all the way through the tub because I'm gonna fill those holes with silicone and my objective is I'm gonna try and lift up that lip and get as much silicone in there as possible and then uh, put a bead of silicone on the outside and spread it down and hopefully it uh, bonds and will create a seal underneath and on the top of that crack otherwise you'd have to uh, put some backer behind there and all kinds of stuff and I don't have access to the underside of the tub and uh, like I said before, this is just a temporary fix until we can get the, uh, the uh, tub out and put a shower tray in. So it's um, just a band-aid, so it's not a permanent fix. But we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the sanding and the drilling. Okay, so as you can see, we've roughed it up a little bit. We've got a hole over there, a drill hole here. And I've opened up that crack with a pocket knife. And so now the next step is just basically going to be applying the silicone and I'm going to lift up that crack very carefully because it's super thin and ultimately I think the acrylic has just worn itself out. Um, I'm not sure why but it's super thin, it's very brittle. Um, almost ridiculously thin. So I'd be afraid to drop a bar of soap on this thing thinking it's going to shatter. So I'm going to carefully lift that up, squeeze silicone in there all from end to end, press it down, get a good good press on there, and uh, I may even let that dry and then come back and apply the, the top part. Okay, so there's the uh, final product. It looks like crap, but it should hold temporarily, and uh, that's all we need so that we can continue to use our shower. You can see um, <laughs> there's some old silicone that they used. It's miscolored and everything. But uh, this is not the way you're supposed to do this. But it's going to work for what we need. we got a four-year-old that needs to take baths and stuff. And so um, this will definitely help with that. Again, the proper way to do this is to drill the holes. Have some kind of backing underneath that relieves the pressure because the pressure is what when somebody steps here or sits there is what causes the crack to to open up um, 
like I said, I'm not worried about the texture. I'm not worried about how it looks. Uh, you can see all the other cracks that are in there. Um, those are weak spots in the, the acrylic. And this is the last ditch effort before I take um, some flex seal rubber and just line the entire tub, um, which would, would ultimately look better. But we're not worried about aesthetics because we're just trying to get through the winter months um, so that next summer we can have uh, this properly replaced and the whole bathroom is going to be renovated. So not something we want to do now because that'll move our uh, renovation plans um, too quickly and we haven't even figured out what we want to do with the back bathroom space yet. So, all right. Well, <clears throat> again, this is a, an emergency fix. Not really a DIY project per se, uh, just a way to fix your, your cracks in an emergency. And by the way, uh, this particular silicone that I'm using dries within 30 minutes. It's water, water ready in 30 minutes. So uh, we should be good to go within the next few hours for a shower. All right, well, signing off. On to the next.